Now let's look at the internal surface of the brain. Okay? We can still see cerebrum right here, cerebral cortex, and we can see cerebellum down here. You notice there's a difference though between this dark tissue here and this light tissue here. Okay? This is the difference between gray matter and white matter. Okay? Gray matter in the brain is on the outside of the brain. We can turn it over and see the outside of the brain here with the gray matter. But on the inside of the brain, that's where the white matter lives. Okay? Now that's reversed when we get to the spinal cord. In the spinal cord, the gray matter is on the inside and the white matter is on the outside. Okay? But here, gray is out, white is in. Okay? Now, let's run through some of the structures here. This structure right here is the corpus callosum. Okay? This structure right here that would be labeled number 12 on this model, that structure is the fornix. This structure right here is a membrane-like structure, and that's going to be the septum pellucidum. That would separate the lateral ventricles. Okay? There would be a little foramen in here called the interventricular foramen that would allow cerebrospinal fluid to pass from the lateral ventricles to the third ventricle here. This structure right here, labeled number 26, that's the choroid plexus. That is what's going to make the cerebrospinal fluid. The thalamus would be here, okay, right here, and then this structure, labeled 22 in this model, that structure is the intermediate mass. That's going to connect the two halves of the thalamus like this pencil is connecting my two hands. When we do a mid-sagittal section, we usually cut right through that intermediate mass. So that's what we see we're looking at it end on here. This region down here, this is the hypothalamus located inferior to the thalamus. The epithalamus would be back here. In this epithalamus, we would have the pineal body. Okay. Here we can see the cerebral peduncles in the midbrain. Also in the midbrain, we would have the corpora quadrigemina, specifically the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus. Okay. And there's a canal that's going to run through the midbrain here, and that's going to be the cerebral aqueduct. That's going to carry cerebral spinal fluid from the third ventricle, which is this space in here, down to the fourth ventricle, which is right here between the pons and the cerebellum. Okay. So like I said, this is the pons right here, and then the medulla oblongata would be down here, and then this brain stem would taper into the spinal cord. Brain stem being midbrain, pons, and medulla. Okay? This is the most primitive part of the brain. Other structures we can see here, we can see the optic chiasm after we cut in a mid-sagittal section. We can also see a mammillary body here. We can see the pituitary gland here, and the pituitary gland would hang off the hypothalamus right here by a structure known as the infundibulum. This is the cerebellum right here, and the cerebellum inside, when you cut into it, you can see this tree-like structure. Right? This is known as the arbor vitae, the tree of life. Okay? We can also see a cerebellar tonsil right here. On the inside here, we have a better look at the parieto occipital sulcus right here. And then this sulcus right here is the calcarine sulcus. Here we can see the cingulate gyrus. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.